I think with Andy, what he has is incredible fighting spirit and amazing resilience. You know, that when things are going against him, you know, the tougher the shot is, the tougher the score line is, the further back you are, more seems to fuel him. The challenge, he, he sort of really gets off on the challenge of the impossible. Whatever you thought was impossible, he made possible tonight. Judy Murray, she couldn't have been prouder. I got to bed about half past five. I waited until he was uh, starting his recovery and then I got a car back to, to the house and I got about an hour's sleep and then my alarm went off and I, and I was here to do this amazing women's networking breakfast. I like to come to these kind of things and just share my experience, share my content, share my ideas and my understanding of the tennis world according to women. This is exactly the sort of thing I believe in and I really enjoy sharing, you know, particularly with other women because, you know, if you can see it, you can be it and if it helps them to deliver something better or something new or gives them uh, encouragement or confidence that they're doing the right thing, then it's 100% worthwhile. Andy went on the ATP tour in 2005. Jamie uh, started in 2006. So, you know, I've had a double whammy of it with, with both of them playing. All we can do is sit and be as supportive as we possibly can be and as positive as we can be the whole way through. And um, yeah, I always, people always ask me what it's like. I said, it's like severe nausea and a series of mini heart attacks all going on at the same time. And quite frankly, I'm amazed I'm still alive. <laughs>